011 was a very difficult experience, but in hindsight a very positive experience. It was a very ambitious film, a heavy metal video with a steampunk environment which was very difficult to shoot. We met one day and while talking about the work of my association and the projects that Paolo had in mind, the topic of a 011 project came up, obviously linked to the board game. This is how this long adventure began. Personally, I didn't know Therian, and I hadn't even heard any of their songs, their albums, etc. I first discovered them thanks to this project, and I must say that I fell in love with their music. contacted us at Silos Productions and got us involved in the 011 project, a very large project, very ambitious, which had already proven its potential in the pre-production phase. Since the pre-production phase, it took us a long time because the original screenplay by Paolo was modified several times since it was necessary to check the availability of the locations provided and also the time that we had to shoot the video on location. From the first draft of the storyboard to the final result, the difference is really quite big. One of the first problems with the original draft of the storyboard was when Christopher announced that Katarina would not be coming to Turin for the shoot. We had to rewrite the parts where Katarina was present. Another reason why we had to rewrite some scenes was the emergence of certain problems related to locations. Three weeks before shooting, our permit to shoot in the 18th century cemetery of San Pietro in Vincoli in Turin was revoked. In the end, Mauro, our location manager, successfully solved the problem by finding us a location that ended up being more suggestive because we shot in a deconsecrated chapel in the IPLA park. The chapel had virtually no need of any retouching. Except, of course, having to bring the tomb of Snorri Sturluson to the location. The location that I liked the least was the Mika Museum Galleries, especially for the difficulties in shooting, as there was no light, so it was obviously necessary to illuminate artificially. There were also very few usable camera angles. Obviously, the biggest difficulty was illuminating the galleries. We had to invent some original solutions to be able to illuminate some of the corridors, because it was impossible to hide the light sources. These are galleries. If you put a spotlight in them, it can be seen. Probably, however, we chose the rainiest days of the week and year here in Turin. When we shot the scene with Snowy within the submarine, water was coming down from the ceiling. 
We didn't have a tank rented on purpose to make the effect of humidity, but while we were shooting, a thunderstorm began, one of many in those days. It was June, and each afternoon of each day we caught a shower. What certainly impressed us most with Therion during the shooting phase was their talent in stepping into the shoes of the characters, as well as their great patience. The shooting set has its times, and very often they are very long, either when it comes to makeup or when it comes to shoot a scene several times. This video also had a large post-production phase. In fact, we worked for some time on creating special effects, integration of 3D scenes in the film, and coloring. In the end, it's impressive. It works. This is due, in my opinion, to the efforts of many people and the fact that there are some people in charge who had a clear idea what the movie should have been like and that were able, as Paolo Valerga was, namely, to succeed in imposing a very personal style and make it all work. <laughs>